Hey, what's up? My name is Clayton J, and today I am here talking to all you transgender male or LGBTQ people that wear binders. I'm here to talk to you guys. Everyone that's watching probably wears like these binders right here. This is a GC2B binder, a size medium right here. That's what I wear. Um, well, used to, I haven't worn it. Actually, I just worn it for this thumbnail, but uh, other than that, I haven't worn this for close to two years now. And I'm here to talk to you about it. This helped me a lot, Preeti. Like, this binder right here helped me so much. And uh, right when I moved out of my parents' house at 18, I moved in with my grandma. And uh, so a couple of my siblings were living there, too. And I kind of felt uncomfortable around them uh, without a binder. So I wore this to sleep. I wore this 24-7. This was my skin. It never got taken off me. Like, literally, I swear I probably would even worn it in the bath with me. You know, like the shower. Okay, I'm kidding about that. But this thing helped me through a lot. So I'm here to tell you to take your binder off. And that's one thing amazing about COVID. COVID-19. Because it helps us transgenders or queer people that wear binders. Uh, Non-binary people. Whoever wears binders. This is a great time. You're indoors. If you have school, you're doing it online. If you have work, some like me, I actually go to work. Uh, but um, you're not out in the public eye as much as you usually are. So take these off. This is an amazing thing. I love it so much. It helped me so much. But now, you see me in all my videos. I'm doing this. And let me first say, so I took, when I finally stopped wearing this, because, like, I'm on testosterone and my chest is smaller and I can get away with wearing, like, usually I'm, like, a size small, but I can get away with wearing, like, a size medium, baggier, you know? So it's like, oh, you can't see anything. And I've been getting away with wearing that instead of wearing a binder now. And when I first stopped wearing a binder, uh, I felt amazing. I was like, oh, my God, like, look, my back doesn't hurt anymore. I feel good. And then now, like, I've had, I've been without a binder for, like, close to two years, I want to say. And you even see me on my videos. I'm like, hey, guys, how the, I'm doing that. Half the time, I'm trying to edit those out because it's embarrassing and it's awkward. But, you know, that's a part of transitioning. This is a, a real serious thing. I have back problems because of this stupid binder. I mean, it helped me a lot pre T when I couldn't pass as much. This helped me a lot. Uh, but now this is just me. I'm doing this and I'm scared. I'm gonna get top surgery and I'm gonna be I'm gonna be like 30 and I'm still going to be doing this because of this stupid binder. So everyone I know sometimes you feel insecure Just wear a baggy sweatshirt get like an extra extra large like extra 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 large like get the largest thing you can uh, Instead of wearing one of these because it's it's crazy how much it still hurts Like I've been without a binder forever and it still hurts. I'm probably gonna need like back surgery or something because it it hurts all the time there's like a certain way i have to lay like usually when i watch tv i cannot watch it on my side i have to watch it like 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 the tv is the, you're the tv i have to watch it like laying back like in my bed like this i can't lay on my side because my back hurts so much i have to be on my back i don't know it's weird but i just want to tell you guys like lay back like i know in the moment, you're like, who cares? I'm going to wear this to bed because I feel insecure in my own body. Not even, No one's even around. I just feel insecure, which I get you. I feel you. That used to be me. I know. I feel how it goes. Uh, or you don't want to take it off, and you're like, it takes forever to take it off. I'm just going to go to bed in it. But, you know, you're going to regret it when you get older. Let's just say that. Or when you start testosterone and you don't have to wear it anymore, you're like, fuck yeah. But it's still going to get, like, it's payback for all the times you've worn it, you know? So uh, I know, like, I think the cutoff, hours is like eight hours i would probably only do like three hours a day or less like if you can try your best to like just wear a sweatshirt or something like that that can cover and mostly if you're small chested throw this away come on throw it away i i don't know why i wore it i mean it made me feel comfortable and i guess pretty you know like you you you, you like you can pass pretty but you don't feel like you're passing because you haven't completely started your transition or that's how I felt so this did help a little bit it's like oh well it made me look flat it makes me look like I have like pecs so I understand but I just want to tell you now like my experience my back hurts so much you see all my videos I'm just doing that all the time every single one of my videos you can catch me at least once I try my best to edit it out because I feel awkward doing it but um yeah that it's serious like my back problem is serious and it's crazy and I hate it 
someone actually commented that thing is saying I have tick or stuff like that or like twitching problems and no it's just it's my back uh, from wearing the binder my back used to be perfect I wore this binder and now my back is broken so be careful when you wear this and uh, also remember I used to duct tape I used to ace bandage I used to I used to do a lot back in the day just to pass uh, I would do literally anything to pass back in the day uh, and now I regret it <laughs> I mean, I guess I don't regret it. It's a funny story to tell, and it happened. Whatever, you know, it happens. Like, I can't regret it now. It's too late, you know. But um, my back does hurt. I just want to say that. So watch out, because I probably will need back surgery later on when I'm, like, uh, 40 years old. It's like, oh, I need back surgery now. But I don't know. I was just thinking that was a good video to tell you guys to lay back on your binders. And uh, winter's coming. Put a coat on. It's winter, you know. Put a coat on. And, um... Yeah, stay safe, wear it the right amount, or try not to wear it. You know, if you're a smaller chested, try not to wear it. If you're larger chested, wear it, wear an oversized coat. But, yeah, thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it. Remember to hit the notification bell, like, subscribe, and comment, because I love everyone's comment, and I'll see you guys next video.